Hello everyone, this is Dark Prophecies again. Today I would like to show you a second tutorial on how to play Star Wars The Old Republic on the Mac without bootcamp. Now, in the previous video, I have showed the tutorial but many people requested for me to make one step by step. So yes, today I'm going to do it. Now, after the video, please do read the about section. There's a lot of people who do not read that section. This section, I will post all the links and the step-by-step -step written guide. So um, feel free to send me questions if you're unsure of what to do after the video. And, but please do not send me questions on the errors as I'm not a programmer and I have no idea how to fix the errors. So try googling them instead. Okay, today's tutorial, I will show two kinds of installation. The first one is a fresh installation, which means that you have to go to the Star Wars The Old Republic website and download the fresh install. So, first off, open crossover. Okay, go to manage bottles. For those people who have no bottles yet, create a fresh one. Make sure that it is window XP and give any name of the bottles you want. So, for example, Star Wars The Old Republic. Alright, so click on create. Okay, for me, I already have mine set, set up already. So, what are the things to do? First thing, click on Applications. Now, this crossover client may be a little bit different depending on which version you're using. Okay, so, you may see that I have a lot of installed applications. Yes, this is because I've already installed them. For those people who have just created a new one, you should see that it's quite empty, so do not worry. So, what to do? First thing, click on Install Software. Okay, in this search bar here, there are a few things that I need you to install. So, what I'll do is that I'll paste the things that are necessary to install over here at the About section later. So, things to install, Microsoft Visual C++, Internet Explorer, DirectX 9, and all of them you can do it, sorry. All of them you can do by searching over here. For example, Internet Explorer, then yeah, just install it over here. Okay. For me, I have done everything ready, all is installed. So remember, follow the list, go to the About section, follow the list, and install whatever is needed that I've written there. Okay. The next thing, if you're doing a fresh install, okay, I do not recommend a fresh install as many people are facing problems with the new client updates. Yes, so to do a fresh install, um, download the game in, from this SWTOR website. And same thing, click on install software. Now this time around, this at this search, there is no Star Wars inside, so just type other applications. Click on other applications. Now select an installer. So, um, choose the installer that is given from SWTOR. So wherever you downloaded it, just you uh just click and install on it. Install into the bottle. Okay. Uh, my bottle's name is called Firefall. So whichever bottle that you have created, install it into that bottle. Use the same bottle as you have installed all your Internet Explorer, your visuals and everything inside. It has to be in the same bottle. Okay, then click on proceed. Okay, for me, same thing, I've already installed it, so... Okay, uh, the second kind of installation is to copy the entire game from a hard disk or somebody else's computer. Uh, I, re I recommend this because by far this is the most steady kind of installation I've ever done. Okay, so what to do, click on bottle, open C drive. Now you see that I have a lot of programs here. Don't worry, these are all my games and whatever I have. So uh, this is my hard disk, so click on this, just copy and go back to the, the part where I said open C drive. So this will be your C drive and paste Star Wars The Old Republic over here. Okay, the second thing I need you to do is to download SWTOR underscore fix. Alright. Uh, 
whether you are doing the fresh install or the copy installation, this has to be there, okay? So, where to download this? Same thing, it's over there at my about section. There, list of SWTR links. So, click on this one. Now, it will open this website. Okay, there are many things to download here, but don't download all of them. Just download this one. SWTR underscore fix exe. Only this one will be the one that you need to do. So once you have downloaded this, same thing, click cross over, open C drive. You can paste it anywhere in the same C drive, alright? So now that's all. And so how do you start a game? Okay, most people will just press on this and uh, click on the launcher here. Or the other thing that most people will do is to go under programs and open. Now, I do not recommend that. I've tried both ways and they don't work at all. Somehow, the, the game will be, will be a bit weird and it will spoil. So, the best way of playing this game, click open C drive, same thing. Double click Star Wars fix.exe. Now, you see nothing will pop up. Don't be afraid, okay? If you're really afraid that it's not, it's not working, go to control panels. Open Task Manager. See, SWTR fix is inside. It's already inside. Now, next thing to do, double click this one and double click launcher.exe. Okay, and the client will load. Okay. okay. Now the problem is that we are using a crossover so it's, it will be a little bit laggy as compared to the normal game. Now log in. Uh, the loading speed will take a little while much more than normal. Okay. Uh, things to take note. There are currently 5 bugs that I found. The first one is the loading time. It takes very long to load compared to if you use it on Windows. Uh, the second one is that your health bar, you will find that it goes missing sometimes. Uh, the third one is that changing any graphic preferences in the game will result in disconnection. Uh, okay, not disconnection, but you hang. And the fourth one is that if you hover your mouse over any mission uh, POIs, your game will hang as well. So refrain from that. And the last one is error 208. Now, most people will get this error 208. Uh, I am not sure if it works for everybody, but what for me, what I did was uh, make sure that you have port forwarded every single port for Star Wars. Uh, second thing, make sure that you have no firewall blocking this game at all. Third one, what I usually do is that I will come over here and simulate a reboot. Uh, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I am not sure why it works this way. Yep. But don't worry, this game does work. Okay? So click on play. The game will start. But do note, like I said, this game takes a little while to load. Now, what happens if you don't open SWTR underscore fix? Uh, your loading screen will hang. That means there will be a little circle thing here that keeps on spinning non-stop. And uh, yes, and the and you will be stuck there forever unless you open the fix. So if you accidentally forget to open it, don't worry. Just alternate tab, close it, and uh, open the fix all over again. So remember, always open. Go to C drive. Open your C drive there. This little circle will get hanged if you don't open the fix. It will continue spinning nonstop. Okay. So remember, open your C drive. First thing to open is SWTOR underscore fix before you open the launcher. Now, to make sure that... Uh, okay, the reason why I ask you guys to download Internet Explorer is because that this game requires Internet Explorer to work and to download the launcher and update the files. So, if you find... If you go to test... To make sure that your network does work, um, test the Internet Explorer on Crossover. Not the one on your Mac, the one on the Crossover. Make sure that you can connect to the Star Wars website. If you can, most probably that uh, your network is doing fine. Yep. So, like I said, compared to the Windows, this thing takes quite long to load. Yep. See? It goes past. That means that the 
S W T O R underscore fix is it fix is working. Okay, so for all other players, I'm playing the server Bastion, and uh, this is my main character, Dark Processes. So if you like, uh, you can add me as a friend and chat with me. I'm fine with it. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for your attention watching this video. Again, please do share this video, subscribe to my channel, and um, support all my other vi videos. Um, thank you very much once again. General Dark Prophecies out.